What's going on everyone? 5280 Reefer, back at you again with a new episode. Sorry guys, I know it's been a while since I've done an update, but it's been uh, a crazy and awesome beginning of the new year. Basically, uh, we had two new additions to our family. My wife gave birth to two beautiful girls on the second. Um, it is definitely a wonderful addition, a blessing for sure. But I've had uh, not a whole lot of time um, to be able to do videos or much, honestly. Um, kind of got a little behind on work, uh, so on and so forth. So I had to catch everything up and get back into the swing of things. So yeah, um, I kind of wanted to make this update a little roundabout update about the overall tank but a big key update for this video is going to be the stripey um but before we get to the stripey just wanted to kind of give you guys an update on the tank i've been doing my weekly water changes uh, it's about 12 and a half percent um every week so that's 25 gallons my total water volume is about 215 gallons so it's been good so far um still battling the cyano um still have tiny remnants of dinoflagellates but they don't really worry me uh not much at all the cyano has been a pain um i've been blowing it off uh, i was a little lazy when i took this video and i didn't blow it off the rocks like i normally do um but this way you guys can kind of see what the tank looks like without me actually going in and cleaning up the rock work of the cyano. Um, but it's not too bad. It's not on the corals or anything like that. Um, as you can see, the coloration of the SPS is phenomenal. I've been getting a little bit of polyp retraction on some of my SPS corals. Um, so I am going to be doing a ICP test um here this week and then i'll update you guys on the icp test of what i find is in there or is not in there or what's going on but for the most part everything else is looking very good very happy really good polyp extension um overall the tanks have been doing wonderful um growth has been consistent there's a lot of growth Obviously, some of the corals are not fast growers at all, but mostly everything else has just kind of blown up. Like right here is the pink Cadillac, and I mean, it's got some beautiful colors in it. It's at least quadrupled in size um, in less than like four or five months. So it's doing really, really good. Um, all the SPS have been growing pretty consistently, pretty quickly. I've definitely been getting a little bit more color out of the corals ever since I started doing the water changes. So I don't know if I can attribute that just to other trace elements that I do not add or just other factors of the water change. Either I'm taking out toxins or something like that that's making the colors pop a little more. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't tested my nitrates or phosphates in about a month. Um, I am going to be doing that, uh, this coming up Saturday and I will be making a new video this Saturday. So I'll update you guys on that, but yeah, so let's talk about the stripey. So, you know, to be honest for the first two, three weeks, the stripey didn't really do much, but it honestly was getting acclimated to the tank, you know, to its environment, to the fish there just so we can see that hey no fish are going to attack it or anything like that but after those two three weeks i started slowly noticing that where i had the aptasia their tentacles have gotten a whole lot shorter and i looked closer at it and then one day i was just kind of standing there a little further away from the tank so all the fish didn't think they were being fed so they were just doing what they normally do. 
and I saw the stripey actually going after the Aptasia and the big difference with the stripey compared to like let's say a copper band is that it's not able to get into the rock works so, because it doesn't have that like long needle nose uh, mouth so it's only able to get the tentacles of it and then like it, I've seen some of them with like half their disc missing um, but it does eat them so it's been working great I mean the rock work I can barely see any Aptasia but that's because they are retracted and they have all of their tentacles have been bitten off so I'm wondering now as time goes I'm gonna keep watching it and I'm gonna see if he's gonna go in or he or she I'm not sure what it is uh, I'm gonna see if it's gonna go in after like the foot if it even can reach down there you know which I highly doubt but in any case even if it does just eat at the polyps and just piss off that Aptasia, it's going to prevent that Aptasia from eating, right? Because if it doesn't have any of its tentacles, it's not going to be able to catch food. It's not going to be able to catch food or anything like that, so it'll slowly die off. And if... If those Aptasia are left be, they get really, really big. They start stinging other corals with their uh, tentacles. Well, not anymore. They don't have any tentacles. So I'm actually very, very happy with the Stripey. It has not gone after my Duncans. You know, I've heard uh, some people say they go after Duncans. So far, I haven't seen that. It has not gone after the Acan, at least what's left of the Acan after it's been smothered by Aptasia. Um, it hasn't gone after any of my torches or it hasn't gone after any of the Favias. So, so far so good. I honestly think that a stripey will be a normal part of my uh, fish list, you know, cause it, it's awesome. I mean, my corals have taken off. They're not being smothered by Aptasia. And you can see in, in some of these video clips that the stripey has gotten pretty big. So one thing I will say, this fish gets big kind of quick. Um, I haven't seen any other fish grow as fast as this fish has grown. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of stoked. You know, this was my first try with the stripey. And uh, I will say it is extremely successful. Um, it, it, I, I had hundreds, if not thousands of Aptasia in this tank. And, uh, to be honest right now, I can go in there and I can spot some here and there, but it's, it's nowhere near that. I can count them on my hand. And, uh, a lot of the ones that it did rip off their tentacles have shriveled down so much and have lost their size so much that it, they're barely even noticeable in the tank. Um, but I, I would say uh, compared to a copper band, which can go in and actually get the foot and everything, it's definitely not the same. But a copper band is not an option for me. Nudie Bronx are not an option for me. Shrimp are not an option for me. So file fish was definitely not an option either. I have way too much flow in this tank. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate it, guys. You guys have a wonderful day. And as always, keep on reefing.